Are you looking for a glue that is fight proof? Are you looking for a glue that is pull proof? Well, beloved, you have found your glue. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. How you doing? Yeah, I'm Wendy for the day. <laughs> if you got it, you got it. If you didn't, Anyways, today I'm here to talk about a new glue that I'm reviewing today. The Kiss Almighty Bond Lace Glue. And it is one of my favorite glues at the moment. After reviewing this for about two weeks, I can truly say that this is also one of my tops. Aside from the other ones that I already told y'all was one of my tops. What's so special about this glue, you may ask? Like, um, they're all the same, right? Oh my god, you've reviewed so many, we've seen so many, they're all the same, do this glue, do that glue. But honestly, this glue has two sides to it. Now this side right here is the silicone side. This side is the silicone side, so what you don't need is a popsicle stick, my love. It goes on easily, it glides you... It's, it's no mess, really. Um, you get a certain consistency out and you can spread it with that silicone tip. So it's just easier for you to work with. The other side of this glue is a precision. Oh my God, it's so hard to say this word because of my aligners. This is a precision tip. Um, it is just smaller. It gets into those smaller places under the lace that you can't get in with the silicone tip. And all in all, this is just a great compact glue that you could travel with. Um, it's really good. It holds like what like it's so good guys i really love this glue um so for the video i actually did about three layers of glue application the wig i wore i wore it for about two weeks because essentially you guys know i always do the wear test i always do the water test the sweat test but I've done them all. Realistically, I've called so many gyms because I wanted to get into a sauna to switch it up a, a little. You guys know I live in the north in Jersey and it's cold. I can't go to the beach and I don't have a pool. So that was out of the option and honestly i was so upset because i'm like dang how i would love to jump in a body of water just to prove to you guys that this glue will probably budge a little but won't fly off of my head like you know got to be but i'm like okay maybe i can get into a sauna but y'all know because of covid kovisha really came in and stole the show she really did a number on us and i cannot get into a sauna anywhere not even if i tried to pay them to get in so I had to do it the old fashioned way. I actually wore this wig for a straight seven days. Y'all know I don't like to wear my wigs that long because as much as I love wearing wigs, I don't like sleeping in them for too long at a time. So I wore this wig for a good amount of days. Hey, I'm gonna give you guys a quick update. I have been wearing this wig for about three days now. Look at the lace. wow and the hair is like super silky still i haven't straightened it haven't put any heat in it it's literally still the same oh my god it looks so good um i mean you guys can kind of see where the scar away stopped but that's fine like i have no issues with that but oh my god i'm loving this the glue application is still on there the glue is still strong i haven't reapplied or anything this is off the, the first application. The glue isn't budging at all, which is good. Um, I'm trying to see if I can wear this for a few days. Um, I may go to five or seven days. It's been three days, so let's see how far we can go. I haven't had any lifting of any sort. Um, right here, the um, beginning is a little bit, you know, annoying, but other than that, there are no major liftings, as you guys can see. I've just, I've just been tying my hair down, waking up, and going about my day, so I'll check in later. Alright, so it's been almost one week since I've had this wig on with this application. Um, I just really wanted to wear it to see how long it would last without anything lifting, and today it finally lifted. This side gave out, but I don't think it was really the glue. I think it's because this part of my hair is like sliding back. And this typically happens when um, 
your hair is not too flat under your wig or whenever I sleep and I'm always pulling everything back brushing it it's eventually gonna slide but okay it lifted it's been almost a week um all I know is if I had some ball cap under here or if I had like a really loose wig it would probably last until next week this side is still on there as you guys can see it's not going anywhere just to show you like after almost a week it's still pretty firm um i just really wanted to give it a chance to show me when will it lift on its own and as you guys can see this part is still pretty much down i have to like use force for it to start lifting now i can honestly say that while wearing this wig for seven days it did not budge y'all like i was i was kind of surprised realistically when i try out glues especially when it's a new wig the sideburn pieces always lifts first i'm not sure if you guys experienced that i don't know why but it always lifts first so i was actually anticipating it and then i would glue it down and then go about my day it wasn't going anywhere i was kind of confused because it's like Aren't y'all supposed to be, like, acting up or lifting or something? Like, don't y'all all act like that? But the glue wasn't going anywhere. All right. So, I'm checking in again. It's been officially seven days. I did tell you guys in the last clip that I was moving on to do the sweat test because it's... The glue has been holding it down, okay? But I'm probably not going to start doing the sweat test until, like, maybe two days from now. Um, I did tack down this side that was lifting, honey. But one thing is, I feel like this wig... I feel like the wig is slowly, like, slipping back. This wear test has been taking a long time. But so far, this glue is winning. Like, first of all, this wear test is everything. But I already told you guys, with glues, I don't sweat. Purr. I really don't sweat. My body is not like that where I just start sweating out of nowhere. The only way I sweat is if my body is forced to sweat. If I exercise a lot or if I, you know, if I'm doing something crazy. So this is just without sweat or anything crazy. So of course, I'm like, okay, let me go another week. So I actually went another week with the glue. I know, it's kind of like, oh, Jada, what are you doing? Um, the other week, though, second week, it was really supposed to do a sweat test. And um, I really get busy because y'all know, YouTube is not my full-time job. I really just do it for fun. So my full-time job and everything else in life took over. And I didn't get to do the sweat test on the second or third day of wearing it for the second week. I actually went another four or five days wearing it without doing the sweat test for that second week. Then I said, okay, I'm gonna go to the gym. I need to get this off. I need to sweat. And I was not sweating. So I just, I'm like, okay, let me just push myself a little bit at the gym. Yeah, so I pushed myself a little bit at the gym, and as you guys could see from the videos, it kind of lifted a little bit, you know? I feel like the glue was a bit weakened, a bit. Girl, I've been wearing it for so long. The glue was really weakened, and y'all know, when it, when it's a fresh application, the glue's gonna be at its strongest, especially after 24 hours, after laying your scarf down, sleeping in it, all that, it's like meshing, it's like ugh, seeping into your pores. And it's just stronger. Now, after wearing it for about over a week, and then working out, of course the glue is going to be weak. So I kind of expected it to lift, but even though it lifted, it wasn't that bad. Like it lifted, but it was still 
on there if you guys get what i'm saying i know that i always jump in the shower and do a water test to prove to you guys that the glue won't come off in the water or how long it will last before actually coming off i've tried a lot of glues this glue now i'm not gonna lie to you guys it's on it's like all the other glues i've tried like my top glues so the kiss glue does have way more ingredients in it so i'm guessing it works a little bit different than all the other glues um so in my in my opinion my opinion um, this kiss glue does it does seem a little bit more stronger than the other glues um, while wearing the other glues I did wear tests with them and by like maybe the fifth day it was like lifting like it was over with I wore this glue for two weeks really realistically on my head 14 days and um, when I decided to do the sweat test after maybe like day what 10 or so it was like it was holding on but like it was lifting a little that just goes to show you the strength of this glue if you guys get what i'm saying i did not jump in the water um i did not go in the shower and do like a complete water test because i can already tell by the sweat test and wear test that this glue is pretty strong um and also i wasn't feeling too well that day and i really needed to take the wig off so <laughs> don't be mad at me don't be mad at me don't be mad at me guys i did a full review and as you guys know based on previous things when you go in the water the 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 water won't take the remove the wig or affect the glue until maybe about five minutes of you really sitting in there and it has to be like some room temperature or warm water which is what i do it in i don't even use cold water when i do i use room temperature or warm water um so you have to be sitting in there for at least five minutes and i can tell you that this glue is pretty strong i would trust this glue especially if i was doing a ball cap method and three layers to 16 because y'all love to play with y'all edges um so yeah i really do love this glue i definitely recommend it if you guys see this in the store please pick it up because you will not regret it honestly um i think that on a fresh application maybe a day or two it'll probably be way stronger than wearing it for two weeks and then doing a sweat test if you get what i'm saying um i'm gonna be testing it out way more in the future and i will be doing comparisons and stuff so please look forward to that but i really just wanted to get this review out there it's one 10 out of 10 would recommend this it reminds me of an insta glue or like the erica j glue really but it's a little bit um strong it has a little bit more ingredients in there even like applying this wig today i put it down and after putting it down i kind of lift, lifted the lace and it was giving me a hard time should i be concerned I just wanted to give you guys that quick rundown of the glue. Um, I hope you guys really enjoyed this. I hope you guys give it a try. If you guys are interested, it will be linked down below in the description box. Uh, shout out to Kiss for making this glue. I'm so excited to see what other glues are out there. I do see you guys' requests, but you got to remember I'm one lady with one head and one edge. That came out wrong. But realistically, my edges are thin. So yes, one edge. So I have to take my time. And I also have other things that I have to review. So I'm I'm kind of taking my time here. Okay? Uh, I'll get to it eventually, guys. Um, I know I'm your test dummy. <laughs> I don't want to be. Why don't I have to experience it first? Like, why can't I see? I mean, other people have tried it. But okay, I'll see you guys in the next video. Until then... Stay cute.